Our fifth award is the H. L. Stevenson Fellowship, named for the great editor of UPI. This goes to Rachel Mueller of Berkeley, who impressed judges with her video storytelling and her knowledge of West African cultures and languages. Rachel has a fellowship with Grand Truth Films. Presenting is Charlie Stennett, executive editor of the Ground Truth Project. Um, so I'd like to take you all for a moment on a journey um, to, some, uh, to West Africa, where I was based for six months um, doing some reporting. Um, so I'd like you to imagine for a moment uh, that you're in Indakar, Senegal. You're in a courtyard, it's nighttime, and the light is coming from a single bulb um, that's bare. Uh, there are three men that crawl over the body of a dead cow that's lying in the middle of the courtyard and are using knives very skillfully to remove the skin from the marbled muscle that's underneath. The air is acrid and tinny with the smell of the cow's recently spilt blood. And Khadiwad, who is an elder and a priestess, she leans over and whispers in your ear, almost giddy about the ceremony that's about to take place. Hadi is responsible for maintaining the balance between the human world and the spirit world for the Lebu people of Dakar, Senegal. Uh, and tonight, she's working to rid a young woman of a very obnoxious boyfriend spirit that has been plaguing her now for months. This ceremony that she's about to do, it's called the Indup Ceremony, is deeply intertwined with how the Lebu people operate in Senegal today. It's also intertwined with Islam, with politics, with the economy, and impacts all sorts of ways that women live out their daily lives. Uh, scenes like this are what motivates me to be a visual storyteller. The electrical buzz of the generator that you can hear, the palpable tension of the other priestesses as they move from foot to foot. These are things that I want to show visually through film. I strive to document what matters to communities like Waz in an effort to make the unfamiliar familiar. I also have a goal to show the things that are familiar, the things that we all take for granted, as strange. Uh, in this dichotomy, we're able to observe both the ways that we cling to different ideologies and mythologies that work to connect and to divide us. Um, and at this moment in division, I think connection is incredibly important. Um, and this is what motivates me, um, is, is the quest to help us connect despite our differences. I find that um, really empowering in journalism. I've had a deep relationship with the African continent for nearly 15 years. Um, I'm interested in religion, politics, and how that intersects with gender. Um, and as a journalist and filmmaker, I hope that I can impart some sort of semblance on the truth and help us to bridge some of these divides. So thank you to the OPC for starting this career path. <laughs> 